Dr. Albert Lee with Chris Vignitswaran here, helping to be my photographer today. We're going to go back through on how to assemble the Lexel frame for the first part of our video. And we'll start by going ahead and going through all the components. Here in the coordinate frame tray is several components. And if you look on top, we're going to take out the two middle posts compared to the long posts. We'll take out the two middle posts, put them off to the side, take out the two short back posts, take out the two top screwdrivers, which will help us with, our, with assembling the frame. Go to the bottom portion. What we'll need is we'll need the screws and the nuts for that. We'll need the bent, non-straight front piece, and we'll need the Lexel ring. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is take out the front piece that's straight, because we'll want the bent front piece to help avoid the bridge of the nose. And we'll do this by taking out the, the front two screws setting those off to the side. Take off this front piece. And then now the next thing that's important to notice is that the, the numbers all face up. Okay? And what we want to do as we kind of tighten out our bottom fixating pins is we want this bend to be superior again in line with the numbers and that's very important for this application. There's some applications where you will want this bent piece to go downwards but for what we're doing for our stereotactic procedures is making sure that it's superior to help give access to the airway for anesthesia and also help get the Lexel frame off the bridge of your nose. You tighten that down there okay? and now we're ready to deal with our posts. So we want to get four of these screw and nut pieces out. And then we can set this aside here. And then we want to use our larger, the medium sized posts on the front. And we can quickly just hand tighten this to get it started. making sure we don't obviously strip or cross the, the screws and the nuts. Okay, we'll uh, go ahead and continue on by fixating the two back posts. And once we get these hand tight, we can go ahead and set the back posts and we're going to set them all the way superiorly and that typically helps keep the pins out of the posterior cervical muscles and into good occipital bone. And the front posts for most patients are usually too long if we set them all the way superiorly. So what I typically do is pick a mark it's usually the second mark here and line the black line up with the top of the frame and that's a relatively good start point for most of our applications where we're targeting our subthalamic nucleus or our globus pallidus. And that ought to be far again that's all the way superiorly with that post and then sliding it back down and getting it on a line there so it's consistent on both sides and that usually will give you for average size patient a good target. Okay. Our next our next part is to take these plastic inserts and some of the Lexel frames come with posts where they're already threaded, but for this for this Lexel frame we'll need these plastic inserts to allow us to fixate our titanium screws in. Uh -huh. he left, he left so we'll put prior. those in. And that's an assembled frame. We'll be able to fixate a CT or MRI guided reference frame onto that after we have it fixated on the patient. 